Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Of course, it is a little noisy out here. You can see that I am outside because I am here on a super secret trip that is about to become unsecret. Um, so I hope you stay tuned. I hope you continue watching because if everything goes according to plan, you guys are going to be seeing a nice tour of this. That's right. It's the Hacksmith store and showroom. Let's go in. And hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Steve, and we did it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We went into the Hacksmith Industries headquarters, and do I have some stuff to show you. Before we get into that, make sure you are smashing that like button. Make sure you're hitting that subscription button, of course, and make sure you're hitting that notification bell so when you new videos such as this one and some other changes we have coming up go live, you are one of the first to see it because you're going to want to see those videos. Ladies and gentlemen, I went to Hacksmith Industries and holy cow, did I have a great time there. It was absolutely wonderful. Before we get into some stuff here, I would like to personally thank uh, Jose, um, Tyler, and of course, James the Hacksmith himself for inviting me out today uh, to see the showroom which you're about to see some stuff here and of course the actual like shop itself it was a great great tour I was absolutely 100% uh, humbled to be invited um, but let's get into it now I could have filmed some stuff if I wanted to but I did not I just took some pictures so we're gonna go through some stills here and I'm gonna talk to you about the stuff I saw and how awesome it was first up there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is their mini Tesla truck. Um, it, it was up on uh, some uh, shelves there. Um, it wasn't working right now. It's missing the windows, as you can see. Um, but it was awesome to see in person. These things that the Hacksmith people over there have built um, have been tremendous. Next up, here's their Mario Karts. A couple weeks ago, they released a video where they created real-life Mario Kart and it was phenomenal what a great video the series of videos leading up to where they're building the carts was awesome i highly suggest you go watch one of those um if you're not seeing them in person is just awesome it's next level all this stuff and i can't believe i was in there still i'm still riding the high from being in there next up here is the old uh intro video wall used to see some older hacksmith videos where james the hacksmith would film um some stuff in front of this wall there is some great things in there there's a flamethrower on the wall you see the hacksmith captain america shield and of course a wakanda shield as well there are one million subscriber play button i'll never have one of those nope uh those wolverine claws on there are their very first hacksmith creation um so i was told uh by jose um, and of course, there is a Trident, broken Iron Man helmet and some batarangs and stuff. Just fantastic stuff to see in person. And if you look down there, you will see a nice battle axe right there. Next up, here's just beside it, a whole bunch of stuff. Another Wakanda shield. We got an Iron Man arm down there. There is the arms for catching the, uh, you know, the Captain America shields, which they're just below that. There is a pile of Captain America shields just all in a rack. I thought I took a picture of them, and I did not, and ugh, I wish I did. Um, but that's all down there. You'll see the top of a mouse droid and some other projects there. You see, and an awesome, awesome broadsword there. Next up, there's a mouse droid. That was awesome. I'm a big Star Wars guy, as you know. This mouse droid it's awesome to see in person and of course you see a more near there um they do have a few more nears there um, i did attempt to pick up their 140 14 114 pound tungsten one 
Ooh, that was hot. I did get it up, but man, is tungsten ever heavy. Um, yeah, whoo, that was hard to lift. Um, and then, of course, here is their Guinness Book of World Records lightsaber. They made the very first lightsaber, a uh, working lightsaber, and it is awesome. And, of course, you see there, you see their Mandalorian um, jetpack there. Uh, you see some of the Mandalorian helmet and the hover pram for the, and you see the Mandalorian's um, uh, rifle there. All awesome, awesome, awesome. I got some better pictures coming up here. This is another shelf with another thing with some more uh, items there. The top thing there is a giant leaf blower. Um, that is awesome. If you look on the bottom shelf, all you attack on Titan fans, those are the spear guns. Um, that was just a week or so ago that they released that. That was awesome. And then the self-kick-flipping skateboard. <laughs> that video was a trip. As a former skateboarder myself, um, kick-flipping is hard. The video on that is just incredible. Uh, we have crossbow there and another helmet and various other swords and stuff there. And next we got another shelf here. We have um, another like flamethrower here. A uh, couple more things. Uh, we see some wolverine claws down there. The Wolverine Claws in the bottom right, if you haven't seen that video yet, it is um, uh, self-healing metal. That was a wild video to watch and seeing them in person. That water bottle there, I was told by Jose, is very dangerous. You do not open that water bottle unless you uh, want to get hurt. So don't do that. Here is one of their unbreakable boxes. Uh, they did a series versus another YouTuber. Um, whose name will be right here, I completely forget, um, of Unbreakable Boxes. That was kind of cool to see their Unbreakable Box videos have been rather awesome. And then here is a close-up of the Mandalorian helmet that they created for their Hectalorian series. And the Hover Pram uh, with the baby um, Yoda in there, Grogu. Uh, the Hover Pram actually hovers. Uh, it's remote control. It is awesome. The Mando helmet is 30 pounds. I picked it up. It was wicked heavy. I didn't even attempt to put it on my head because the thing, the thing would have broken my neck. It was way too heavy. And then here's another showcase of various other things. That skull at the top, that is a real working flaming ghost rider head. That's right. A real flaming ghost rider head. It is awesome. Um, you see a Spider-Man mask, a, a Star-Lord mask, another uh, there was a Deadpool mask in there, and the various other things, another Captain America shield, and some other stuff in there. So good. So I want an Iron Man helmet, some Hulk fist. Really, really great stuff. Here is their version of Stormbreaker. I couldn't pick it up. This thing is damn heavy. The handle, as you can see there, if you can see it well enough, is... Uh, like metal rope, the same stuff like that you build like wrestling ring out of and stuff like that. Like it like holds up the Golden Gate Bridge. It's that stuff, but not as thick, obviously. All wrapped and stuff, and it was heavy. I could pick up the handle off the ground, but I couldn't pick up like Stormbreaker itself. I tried a couple times. It was heavy. Here's a better look at the Mandalorian backpack. Um, or sorry, the jetpack there. Awesome. Awesome. And then here is the Mandalorian's uh, Needler and Flamethrower Mist and of course Mandalorian's Pistol. Um, if you are a fan of all, you know that tomorrow they're dropping a video um, where the, uh, the three-year project um, where they try to build the loader from Alien uh, that Sigourney Weaver gets in and like fights the thing. Well, they've done it. Here it is, here's me in front of it. It is great, their new video on it drops tomorrow if you've been watching this video for about three years now. Um, it is fantastic. That thing is very, very intimidating to look at and dear God, I can't wait for that video to drop on the Hacksmith channel tomorrow. Now, you guys are all asking two questions right now. One, Steve, why did you, a lowly little YouTuber, get invited to such a huge, huge YouTube channel's uh, space to see their area and stuff? And two, 
did you get to meet the Hacksmith? Well, I got to meet the Hacksmith. This is me and James the Hacksmith. Uh, I got to talk to him for about five minutes or so. Um, he was really cool, really down to earth. Um, it was really, really great to meet him in person. Uh, it was a little intimidating. He uh, he is not a small dude. He is uh, beefy, uh, shorter than I thought he was. Um, I, I came this close to giving him the um, the roadhouse line where I thought you would be bigger, um, but I did not. Um, but uh, yeah, this is me. Hacksmith things as you can see the back of the loader um, there in the background. Now to question number one. But Steve, how did you get invited to Hacksmith Industries? Well, you see, the bonus is Hacksmith Industries is located in my uh, hometown here. Um, and uh, when they did their Hack DeLorean series, um, they ran a contest at the end of it for people who you could win of one of their custom made ingots of what they're calling Haskar. It's their, um, basically their Beskar, their ingots of Haskar, like ingots of ha Beskar, like you see in the uh, first uh, couple episodes of Mando there. Um, and uh, a various bunch of other stuff and stuff. And well, wouldn't you believe it? I won second prize. And when I told them I was local, they invited me up to come pick up my prize in person and see Hacksmith Industries. So I haven't opened everything yet. I don't remember exactly everything that's going to be in here, but we have this big bag. Let's get to opening it. So first up, there is this glorious, glorious tube. So let's get it open. Now, if I remember correctly, there is two, there are one or two posters in here. there at the other end. So we will pull these out. All right. Okay, there is two posters in here. So, and this one is signed by the Hacksmith. It is the Hack DeLorean. It is signed down there. You can see by uh, James the Hacksmith right there. That is awesome. Try to get a little bit of light and see it there. And, again, this one also signed him holding the holding Grogu in his full Mando outfit. That is absolutely awesome. I am going to have to uh, frame these and get them up with our other autographs. Those are awesome. Let's put these just over here. Let us open this bag. Got a sticker here. Might have to take that off carefully and see if I can get it on the laptop. Nope. Nope. Sticker's done. That sticker is done. All right. So we're going to get in here one by one. First up, we have a Hack DeLorean t-shirt. There you go. Hack DeLorean on the front and on the back. Hacksmith Industries there on the back. Cannot wait to wear this. That is fantastic. Absolutely love this. Thank you. Thank you, guys. If I am right in thinking, this should be... I believe this is the water bottle. Ah, uh, yes. And it looks just like that one earlier in the showcase that shouldn't be on. It is a Swell-style water bottle with the Hacksmith Industries logo on it. That is fantastic. Water bottles um, are used a lot in this house, so that will get lots and lots of use. Save that one for after. We have this little envelope with something very, very hard inside. Ah, this is a Hacksmith Industries keychain slash bottle opener. Can see right there, little bottle opener. 
put this little thing on to throw that on my keys because you never know when you might need a bottle opener. Let's see if we can get this better. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So that's awesome. Now, the big prize, which you've all been waiting for, this right here. I am super pumped to open this. Now, these were very limited. I think these were like one in five. There's only five of these Haskar. I think they made more than that, but some were for one thing, but there was only five they were giving away. I could be wrong, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't really matter. You gotta love this wrap job. Man, some Funko shippers could learn a thing or two from the Hacksmith people about wrapping stuff, because, my God, this is difficult to get into. That's okay. Uh, let me now know down in the comments below whether you are a fan of the Hacksmith channel or if, uh, based on my recommendation now, you are going to go watch because they have some great things on that channel. Um, if you are into comic... If you don't know what it's about, basically they take um, things you see in the movies. Um, uh, Mandalorian gear, um, Ghost Rider helmets... Um, Silver Surfer's surfboard and they make them real they make them real workable things they've made a hoverboard um, all kinds of stuff um, so I highly recommend that you go and check them out so we're getting this last bit of bubble wrap off here all right Ah, okay, so the number here is there's 10. This is number 2 of 10. You'll see on the back here, there, number 2 of 10 of their Haskar. And we're just going to open it up here. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, let me know down in the comments below if you watch the Hacksmith channel. And if you do, what's your favorite project they've worked on? Is it something that they um, haven't released yet? Is it the loader video that's tomorrow and stuff? Or is it uh, something Star Wars? Maybe you're a big Marvel guy and uh, you love whenever they make a Captain America shield and stuff. Or maybe you're an Attack on Titan fan and you uh, saw the video from last week where they made the uh, like rocket spears. Uh, I'm not an anime fan, but I really enjoyed that video. That was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so here it is, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, the Haskar ingot, nicely mounted and stuff in the shadow box. This is phenomenal. I am super excited uh, to put this somewhere. I think this is going to go on my desk uh, downstairs in the office because this thing is beautiful. Absolutely love uh, the craftsmanship on this. And the display box is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Hacksmith and the Hacksmith team, you guys did a bang-up job on this stuff. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was it. What did you think? Let me know down in the comments section below. Um, go watch the Hacksmith. They're awesome. If you're not already subbed, do it now. They're at 14 million subscribers. Um, I'm only at 380 subscribers. So, you know, before you go subscribe to them, why don't you make sure you hit that uh, like button for this video and make sure you smash that subscription button for my channel and hit that notification bell so when new videos like this drop, you will be one of the first to see it. I have, of course, been Steve. Uh, you can follow me on all my social medias at GBoats Collects on Instagram and at GBoats Collect on Twitter. And may the force be with you.